Well, looks like Dad was at the bar again. Oh man, Game of Thrones was getting good too. Boris! What the fuck? This is the eighth time you ran the car into the house. Doris, you look very beautiful. Only when you're drunk you'll say that. Why must you always do this? Every time you get paid, you always go to that damn bar. <laughs> Fucking stop, I T Doris. You are hurting my ears. Please. I just got OFF my work. And this is the part where dad convinces mom into sexual stuff. Doris, you look very sexy today. Let's go to Kalu's room and just do it there. Fuck it, he won't know a thing. Why does it have to be my room? Not in front of the kids, you ignorant fuck. Well then. I guess I'll pleasure myself then. Thanks. A lot. Maria. Hey kids, daddy had a long day at work. Can you please move so daddy can dream about a hot very sexy woman pleasuring me? Yeah, sure thing. Go on ahead. Thank you. Russ. Aunt. Yalu. I swear, your father is always a pain in the ass for me. I can't never get a break. Maybe filing divorce papers will help. Have you ever thought of that? Ah, oh. Silly Rosie. Mommy and daddy aren't fighting. Okay. So explain the other times where you and dad constantly argue like a bunch of gorillas. Go play with Kalo now. Mommy needs to take care of unfinished business. Why doesn't anybody understand me at all? That's because you're still two years old. Of course mom and dad won't understand you. Also the animator had this in mind for this special episode. But the real question is... Are we just going to leave the Bugatti here too burned? I don't think that's our problem to handle. Mom and Dad can deal with that. Oh by the way, you wanna go to Chuck E. Cheese's? Fuck it, let's go before we perish in this house. Kalu, shut the fuck up. You are grounded for 123,456,789 years. Go to your room. Hey guys, I am back. Well, you seem like in a good mood right now. I certainly am in a good mood. Guess what happened at work today? You got fired at work. You finally promised you would stab your CEO worker. Oh, I know. You finally got a raised. Even better. What's so much better than getting a raised? Getting fired I assumed. Boris, what could possibly be better than getting a raised? Actually, I got promoted. Really? Wow, that's amazing Boris. What did you get promoted? Promoted to the executive in chief for Donald Trump. Wait, what the fuck? That's awesome, Dad. Good for you, Dad. Boris, do you have any idea what the actual fuck you just did? Oh, uh, oh, 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 I can see jealously on your face right now. You fucking promised you wouldn't change your political race. Why are you executive for that asshole anyways? The better question is... Why do you even allow him to do these kinds of stuff? Like remember the time when you allowed dad get so drunk off his ass? He ended up being on top of the airplane. I can fucking fly. This is the best day ever. I'm like the Christopher Watkins of Aquaman. Hello. Yes yup, he's at it again. Yes shoot the plane down. Okay. Oh shit, fuck 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 fuck. Hold up. Did it just cut away to another scene? Yeah, I guess the animator decided to put cutaways in this special episode. Are you dirty bitch? Huh. Too easy for me. You can't beat me at Roblox, Kalu. It is very impossible to even beat you, Rosie. How do you do it? I need your secrets. I'm just that good, Kalu. You should be lucky you have a sister with such an intelligent brain. Fuck you and your brain. Look, Doris. We can finally live off the American dream we always dreamed of. Isn't that a movie? American dream? Are you for real right now? My dream was to have a successful life with a caring and loving family. Not be a goddamn Trump supporter. But listen, Doris. Trump said he'll give us a small loan of a million dollars. A fucking small loan of a million dollars. Wanna make a bet if dad wastes all that money on alcohol? Yeah, right. Probably weed would be the better place, but... We can all live the American dream, Doris. Just imagine all the things we could get. Shoes, clothes, jewelry, fancy cars. Shoes? Clothes? Cars? Oh boy, 
Dad is doing it again. Yes. Anything you want, Doris. It is all yours. Well, I mean... Boris. You think you can afford all those? Well, you think about it, Doris. I'll be in the kitchen getting drunk. So does that mean we have to move? Most likely. You know Dad. He'll do anything to let this house go. I hope we don't move to New York. And why is that? Well, remember when I made that comment about 9-11? That actually went out of hand from my end. Oh man, this is going to be difficult. I've never been in so much anxiety in my life. Mom, I have a question. Why do you even let Dad do all these ridiculous stuff? Kalo, your father was a different man back then. Different, you say? I agree with Kalu. I never thought father was any different. Well, back when me and your father were just a couple of teenagers, it was the year 1985. I was at a nightclub called Malibu Club in Miami. Wait, you used to live in Miami? Well, technically it wasn't called Miami back then. It was known as Vice City. Anyways, the Malibu Club was livid with so many people in it. It was the best club to go to on every spring break in the 80s. Especially it was the day when Prince and the Revolutions appeared for the first time. It was the year Prince released his new album. I could say it was an amazing day. During that day, I was with my high school friends. We all decided to go to the club since it was spring break. I was with my friend Kate, Sally, and Rebecca. And that orange hair person with the glasses is of course, me. Wait, you had orange hair back then? That kind of explains why I have orange hair. Anyways, we were all talking about how our lives would be after high school since we were seniors, thus creating the discussion which I hated to discuss about. And what would that be? So Doris, you still haven't said what you would do after high school. Sally's right. You still haven't found a man yet. You still haven't decided who would you want to become. Fuck man. They're nothing but horny bastards who just wants women for sex. Women like us can deal life without men. Shut the fuck up Rebecca. You clearly fucked every man on a daily basis. Get that feminist shit out of here. Guys, seriously. Why do we have to talk about this? I can live my life without men. Or oh, bullshit. You need to cut that innocent shit Doris. We brought you here cause we believe this could be the possible way to get you with a man. I thought you said I don't need a man. Bitch I was drunk when I said that. Yeah but who would want to go out with some nerdy person like me? I'm basically unattractive. Oh come on now Doris. I'm pretty sure there will be that somebody would like the way you are. I mean, I think most men like women that are smart, unattractive, a nerd, and, uh, um, basically what she's saying is you're completely fucked Doris. Well thanks for the advice you bitch. Come on girls, enough with all the bullshit talk. Let's go have some fun. Let's go to the dance floor. Oh yeah. Let's get our groove on ladies. Hey Doris, are you coming along? I don't know Kate. I honestly don't feel like going to the dance floor. Come on, this is the reason why we brought you here. So you can finally know what the meaning of fun is all about. I'll just stay here. I might go back home anyways. Well, suit yourself Doris. I'll make sure Rebecca doesn't try to fuck another guy. So wait, they left you all alone there? Yeah, pretty much. I didn't know what to do. It was either have fun with my friends. Or just go home. So I decided to just walk out of the club and go back home. Well hold on there sweet chicks. Huh? Are you talking to me? Yes, I am baby cakes. Hold the fuck up, mom. That's... Dad? Yes, that was your father in the 80s. Surprising, isn't? Am I the only one who noticed we are looking at your own flashback? It breaks my heart to see a fine young woman sat in this club. By the way, what are you doing here anyways? Well, I was with my friends and... And they just left you here? What great friends they are. Well, actually... That's no way to treat a beautiful woman like you so intimidating. Come on, let's sit down, we'll talk about it. Honestly, at first I thought your father was one of those men who was just trying to get women for sexual activities. But for some reason, your father was so different. 
That day he kept on talking about his life stories and commenting on how beautiful I was. It was like he was the one. My heart was beating so rapidly, I couldn't control myself. I was so shy. I never thought in my life someone like him would keep me company, but then something kicked me. I had to tell him something, something that was floating in my heart since I met him. Sorry to interrupt you, mister. Please, don't call me mister. Mister was my father's name. Call me Boris. Boris? Huh, how funny. Your name kind of rhymes with my name. My name is Doris by the way. Doris, huh? That's a groovy name, beautiful. Well anyways, there's something I must ask you. And what would that be? Well, I was wondering why did you come to me? Out of all the attractive women in this club, you decided to come talk to me instead. I figured you say something like that. Well the reason why is because you're different from all the other women. I love your personality a lot actually. Huh? Really? I mean, I don't really have any personalities though. Sure you do. I can tell you're pretty shy, smart, and for some reason I always dig women with orange hair. It makes them look magnificent. Really? Wow. Thank you for the compliment. That's really generous of you. I still don't understand how we're seeing all this. What I quite don't understand is, is Dad liked your original hair color. Why did you dye it to black? I'll get into that later on. Hey listen. I like hanging out with you. But it seems it's getting late for me. And for you as well I bet. Me? No way. I can stay here all night. I'm certainly having fun. I can tell you are lying. You're a high school student aren't you? How did you know? Easy. You go to David High School don't you? I'm a high school graduate. And you are here spending your last day of spring break at a nightclub. Hey. I don't need the criticism. Actually. I'm telling you for your own good Doris. You see, I'm the only one out of my family who managed to graduate high school and attending college as we speak. I have brothers and sister who completely messed up their own careers by going to nightclubs non-stop and getting into criminal activities. That is why I offered you if I can take you home. I don't want you being in that same situation like my family was into. You really do care about me? Why of course. I have never met a woman like you in my life. I really want to get to know you a lot Doris. It was that moment. Your father took the key to my heart and opened it up. I actually found someone like him. None of you guys don't really realize we're on a time budget. Come on Doris, let's get out of here shall we? Oh, okay. It was the best day I ever had when I was a teenager. Wow, I can't believe dad was such a gentleman back then. But still. Right now he's nothing but an father who all he does is drink constantly every day and smoke weed as well. Hey! You need to understand that your father works hard every day to provide this family. Mom, I'm sorry. The hell you are? Kalo, we brought you up better than this. How dare you speak about your father like that? Look mom, I said I was sorry. Go to your damn room right now. You are grounded for a month. I said I was sorry mom. Jeez. Wow. The way mom got so upset of what Kaylu said about dad was... Weird. I have never seen her get so mad like this before. Fucking stupid kid. We brought him up better than that. How dare he comment about Boris like that. Stupid kid. You literally called your own son stupid. I'm sorry you had to see that Rosie. See what? The way you treated Kaylu like if he's a burden. Look mom, I'm very sorry I have to do this. Rosie? What are you doing with that lethal weapon? Oh this? Well, you see mother. I don't like the way you've been treating Kalu over the past few years. Especially father as well. You two had drawn the line for me. Please! Rosie. Put down the gun. Stop this nonsense. Well I guess it seems like your little angel you gave birth to. Is now taking charge isn't she? What the fuck is going on here? Why do I hear screaming? What? The? Fuck. Rosie. What the hell are you doing? Oh look who decided to show up. My deadbeat father of mine. Rosie. Put down that fucking gun right now. Or else you will have to face the punishment. Huh. When was the last time I have ever gotten a punishment from you? Never that is. You are always grounding Kayla for no reason. It is starting to piss me off. Boris. 
What did we go wrong with our children? First Kano. Now our sweet little angel is now doing this. Please make this stop. Give me that fucking gun right now you little bitch. Oh my god. Rosie. What did you do? Oh my god. I. Can't. Believe. My. Own. Daughter. Shot. Me. Why did you do this Rosie? Tell me. I. I actually shot dad. I. I didn't mean to. Rosie. Hand mommy the gun please. Rosie. Please hand me the gun. Now. Rosie dear. Are you listening? Oh my god. Rosie. Please don't do it. I I why can't I control myself? I am I aiming at mother now. What am I doing? Rosie. Please stop. Don't do this to your own mother. Rosie please. Mom. I. I can't control myself. Rosie, stop! I'm sorry, Mother. I love you. What have I done? I killed both of them. I couldn't control myself. Why? Oh, God. Why? Hey, what's with all the commotion? Wait, what the fuck? Rosie. What happened to mom and dad? Why are they bleeding? I'm so sorry, Kalu. I had to. Oh my god. You killed them. Why did you kill them? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I only did it to protect- What? Uh, uh, what's going on? What are you doing? Why are you doing this now? Cause you made a solid promise. Remembered? You promised you would have your own parents executed. Didn't you miss Rose? Now that you fully made that promise, we are going to change some things around. Oh God. Make it stop. Please. Stop it. It's hurting me. What the... Uh, uh. Since you have fulfilled my promise, I decided to erase your brat of a brother's memory. So that way he can't remember anything what has happened in the past few months. But don't worry. It will only hurt a lot for him. You son of a bitch. You didn't tell me anything of removing Kalu's memory. Well, I guess you can say, it's just business. Fuck this. I ain't working for you anymore. What? Uh-oh. It seems you have stumbled into my trap. And it looks like she isn't going to be able to shoot us. Oh well, what a shame. I was hoping she will somehow escape this. I guess I was wrong. How does that make you feel? Knowing you have failed and I win? Sucks doesn't? It sucks so bad that you had no choice but to kill your own parents to protect him. But don't worry. Once this is all done, you will be under my control from now on. You will be working for me, doing everything I say. Got that? You think I should stop, Alvin? Yes, you may stop. I think both of them have enough punishment. What do we do with that bald brat right there? Oh yes, him. If I recall, Gail has something special for me in his bedroom. I hope it is still there. But first, take him away from here. We will continue with him later on. But for now, me and Jake will go to his bedroom for something special we need. Got that? Now that's done. Let's go Jake. We will recreate history, forever. Now you're talking. Let's go do this. I'm sorry, Kalu. I will fix this. I promise big brother. Wait a minute. This is his room? Why of course it is. I had this room hidden from anyone. Make sure you keep this a secret, Jake. You don't want anybody else figuring out how to get to this room. Out of all room you could have chosen. You chose the Comedy World one? Of course. It was all planned perfectly for me. Now Jake, 
You see that clock right there? Yes. The unknowingly known clock that is moving at unusual speed. Get it for me please. That clock is the main reason why I came here. Okay. I guess. This clock? What's so important about this clock? Just shut the fuck up and get me that clock. Okay, here you go. Put it on that desk over there. What the fuck? Do you want it or not? So now what? It is time. The moment of truth awaits us. Once we press that button on that clock, history as we know it will be erased. History will be recreated into our desired wishes. So, are you ready, Jake? Yeah. I, I guess. Good. Now, let's do this. What the fuck? I pressed the damn button. Now what? I have no idea. Maybe you have to- Alvin, what the fuck? Where are we? It is that. Kalo? I have no idea, but I am starting to get really irritated right now. How about you do me a solid favor for me and get that bald brat out of my sight? Emmy, you must out of your damn mind, Alvin. I ain't going near that kid. Oh, I see. I always thought you were somebody I can always count on. Apparently you're just another pussy. Go fuck yourself, Alvin. Calling me a pussy, that kid over there doesn't look like what he is supposed to be. Can't you see? I don't care if that scale you or not. Just get him out of here and so we can figure out how to get the hell out of here. Fucking fine. If we die, it's your fault. Well, what are you waiting for? Hey kid, wake up. You need to get the hell out of here. Come on kid, I ain't got no time for your shit. Wake up. Alvin, he isn't waking up. What should I do? Use your goddamn laser. This isn't working. I don't think this kid is even alive.
So what you think Boris? I think this is great. I love the new look you done to this place Doris. Really? Thank you so much honey. I knew you love it. Oh well look at the time. It is 7 o'clock. Kalu needs to wake up for school. He is going to miss the bus.